Okay, here we are. We're going to do a quick run through of Maybe It's Over, my latest single. This is the VIP mix. A little something clubbier, a little more playable. Uh, still ethereal, but still has that. But this one is going to have the sort of driving arps and clubbier elements. So let's go take a look at some of the stems and the process for this mix. All right, so let's hear the whole thing all together. <laughs> Okay, lots going on in there. We're going to break that apart layer by layer. We're going to unpack this, baby. Uh, let's listen to the vocal solo. Secret vocalist on this track. Uh, not even supposed to say who it is. It's a secret. And they actually didn't want to be credited, so uh, very interesting. See if you can guess who the vocalist is. But anyways, that's the vocal. Uh, but there's a lot of other elements going on here. So let's start with some of the other leads that are in here. I have a couple layers from the original, but let's listen to these new ones, new melodies. Already we're getting a lot of movement from that, even though it's kind of a little bit of a softer lead. So there's some more layers going on here. Tune layer, and then I've got another version of that, which is just a guide, a rhythmic guide. Uh, so I'm sort of using that for a gate and side chaining with some other elements that are more sustained. Okay, let's hear our second arc. operator as a trigger as a guide uh, so these are st yeah these are all serum presets that I've tweaked and doing some fun automation with the arpeggiator and those offset nicely with the bass so let's hear the bass there's some sustain layers and then there's some more movement versions of the bass Pretty simple on this. Kick hat snare, kick hat clap. So most of that movement is coming from the arpeggios, which is always nice if you can take that away from the drums, keep the drums minimal, have more movement in the stems, the musical parts, then all the better. And in the breakdowns, it's a little more sustained because the energy is different. So let's listen to some of these lush super saw pads and i believe these are filtered here we go this is omnisphere so i will make the bass sustained as well on those Geo kicks in as it builds. Cool little 
little stem from the original, this kind of Rufus de Soul vibe. Just adding a bit of atmosphere and some intrigue, a little bit of tension, and that just offsets nicely with the other leads. So there's a lot of leads going on here, but I feel like it works. that with a kick. Okay, and in terms of processing, uh, there's a couple things I'm doing on these tracks to kind of wrangle them. Uh, there's some Saturn distortion happening, multi-band distortion. It's just beefing it up and adding a little more high end sizzle to it. So Saturn, really good. Uh, after Saturn, most of these buses are going into Empirical Labs, the UAD Distressor. A little bit of parallel compression, just for some extra body and thickness. Uh, and then they're going to a little clipper, standard clip. So check out these little levels here. So it's just chopping those bits off there, trying to do it transparently if possible. Not always possible, but for really sharp transients in the drums or arpeggios, super helpful. And you can get a lot more loudness, a little, lot more average level out of your tracks. After that, uh, it's going to shaper box for the sidechain. Cool. So a little multi-band sidechain there. And what else do we have? Some other little atmospheric stems from the original. Got some reverse transitions and some wind-ups, which are nice. Okay, so I'm using a really cool trick that I accidentally discovered this year. On this ARP, I'm playing the ARP uh, in the beginning, fairly long notes, but then I'm putting an arpeggiator on top of a played and performed ARP, ARP so it's adding some extra note divisions to that, adding a little bit of flair. And you can always change the gate and the release time like this. But the note has to be long enough, so you're not really hearing that effect there, but that can make a huge difference in your track. So you can automate that if you want that movement, if you don't want that movement. Uh, let's hear what it sounds like without that, without destroying the track here. So without the arpeggiator, Arping the ARP. Okay, and with the ARP, arping the ARP. So really nice creative difference there. It doesn't always work, but it depends on the length of the notes, but definitely try that. Sort of like a, a meta effect. Arping the ARP. Okay. Uh, and then there's also some little wind-ups and little ratchets going on here that add a little bit of tension. So let's take a listen to some of these. Just little, little touches, little flourishes to kind of pull in one bar into the next and bring you along for the ride, add a little bit of tension in there. Let's hear it all together. Let's hear it in the verse. Into the future, diving through the flashing lights. No more hesitating. Tell me what. Okay, so here's an example of one of the wind ups. 
to macro automation. And by putting these little staccato arpeggio notes in here, it kind of is announcing the lead. It takes a little break and it's like, oh, lead's coming back in. working together a couple different leads yeah. okay so there you go that's a real quick walkthrough of the stems musical elements of Maybe It's Over, my new track with Damon Sharp, and that is the VIP mix. VIP stands for Variation in Production. I always thought that meant very important person, but it is Variation in Production. This is the clubbier mix uh, without being a full proper remix. So enjoy, make sure to stream the new single, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys around soon.